Hello everyone, it's CMikeyFlare20 back in with another uh, GeekCast, uh, a Windows 7 and Media Center one again. Uh, today I'm just going to show you kind of uh, some of the cool things about Windows 7 and Media Center. My favorite being the fact that we can now finally have one computer in my apartment that will basically record all my TV and then I can use my other, like my MSI Win, to use as a viewer for my TV recording. So, allows for remote viewing opportunities. Also, I'll show you, here's my HP I use for recording, and then also look my PS3, then I can also watch on my HD TV. So, let's just take a look here quick on the, my MSI Wind, and how I can watch my TV on here from it, and kind of how it performs. Right now we're on wireless, going into Media Center here, my recorded TV section, here's my HP. Notice I have uh, looks to be my whole library and everything. So let's take a look at our football here. Let's see how that looks. Notice you can make a copy or you can play. This is only a six minute uh, recording I took of the Vikings against the Kansas City Chiefs. This was recorded in HD and it, I think it's streaming it from my um... Also you get the skipping abilities too while streaming. Not bad performance for our little netbook, you know. I am running over uh, an 802.11n network. Let's try, let's see what friends looks like. This performance is not bad at all. It's pretty cool. Uh, the nice thing is that, you know, basically, I have a portable TV unit I can bring anywhere in my apartment and watch my TV from now, which uh, is really sweet. Also, I'll, we'll show you here now. This Okay, so we'll see. Uh, here we are. We can also uh, watch my TV on my PS3 or Xbox 360 if I had one of those. Uh, the 360 would probably be a better solution since it does have a media. It is a media center extender, so basically it gives you every option that uh, that you'd have in like a Windows 7 computer in media center. And um, the cool thing is, you know, the Windows 7 is that uh, the server now actually streams and transcodes the uh, the stream, so it can be read on almost any device that supports DLNA DLN or or UPnP. Um, skipping forward is still shady on this, so you can do it, but it kind of freezes up after a while. So I think that's just the thing that needs to get worked out on. Either the media center side or maybe in the PS3 side, I'm not sure. But still kind of cool to be able to at least watch it. Um, you can't watch live TV through either of these methods, which is a downfall. Uh, but who knows, maybe that'll be added soon. So hope I didn't bore you guys. Aight. Peace.